Well, we started off our day by going on this little island because it is technically all surrounded by these rivers. We just crossed one part of it and now we're crossing the second part. It's very beautiful. It's the outlet of the lake up there. Pamela just crossed this very expertly. Well, we've made it here to Micah Lake. And the comments said that you can swim in it now. And I'm looking at this thinking, it's pretty frozen. I don't know if I'd want to swim in this. But there is technically this little area right here that you could swim in. I will not be doing that. Henry, will you be doing that? I will not. You will not be doing that. That's the outlet of Michael Lake that we just crossed. Apparently it was a lot sketchier a week ago. So it appears that our little jaunt in NorCal may have paid off. All right, we are just past Michael Lake at 2523.3. And there is our first traverse. Doesn't look too bad. So right down there is the route that looks like all the people are taking. But here, Looks like some kind of animal has taken the above route. I think this might be our first glacial moraine. Over there, all that pushed up rock, presumably by a long melted glacier. More pushed up rock there. I love moraines. I love finding them. Hopefully this is actually it. Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. All right, we're trying to find the trail. We can, see, well, not trying to find it. We see the trail uh, right up there, but we just have to find a good path to get to it since the trail is, you know, under here somewhere. Traversing across. I wonder what that little river crossing is gonna look like. All right, we just gained enough elevation to see Glacier Peak and all its glory from up here. And it is beautiful. We just came down, followed that boot track, which went across some snow, dead switch back. And we're going up there and across one of these little passes. We're at Fire Creek Pass. 360 view. I have not. Well, I don't know if I've. You mean ever? No, like today. No. Well, I'll speak to it momentarily. So I have some draw problems. And wind, cold, wind or cold, and especially a cold wind, or it could even be a cold, like a breeze will make my jaw start hurting pretty badly, like pretty quickly. So it started hurting because it's a cold breeze. So I put this thing on and it's helped, but it's so hot because it's like 8,000 million level down. That's not even how it's measured, but I am sweating in here, but it's helping my jaw feel better, so. This is just remarkable. It's really, really gorgeous. Amazing. Guys, we may have encountered the tiniest pine trees yet. Look, it's like my hand. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's a tiny pine tree forest. Oh, it's so cute. Henry took a little spill. Thankfully, yeah. very low stakes spill. You need help? Nope. You gonna take a nap? I'm good. Ugh. It was that same tree. Yeah, I had a little. Ugh. It looks like a perfectly innocent tree, but it'll stop you in your tracks. <sighs> and send you to the ground. And send you to the ground. We're uh, taking a little morning break here. And I've been really into eating tuna as a snack lately very good. Usually it's my dinner, but it's a nice snack as well. 
So what I think I've been calling Glacier Peak may actually be Kennedy Peak. This is about 2,000 feet lower than Glacier Peak, but I'm not really sure. Current view, walking along the trail. I think I hear Henry right behind me. We just keep getting closer and closer. It's so beautiful. I spy a wild camera prowling about. I don't know. Now I think that little pointy knob to the left might be Kennedy, and that's Glacier. That's my new thought. Guys, I am struggling today. In the last like hour, I have almost had like a serious incident. I don't want to say a serious incident, but like a fall of some kind three separate times so the first time um i was just going downhill coming around to switch back it wasn't super gravelly but there were some rocks and i just i don't know slipped on one lost my footing almost went down uh caught myself with my hiking poles sometimes i feel like that's worse than just falling um like you can kind of hurt your arms and stuff doing that but thankfully like everything was fine that was the first time, okay, whatever. Second time, I'm doing like some kind of down tree crossing and I had gotten over the tree, but there was like a, um, it wasn't even a big one, but there was like a, a smaller log right in front of the tree that I was stepping on to like, I was stepping my left foot on that and then I was gonna step my right foot on the trail. And I just like stepped too far to the left and my foot like went, you know, my ankle, I guess, uh, inverted, I think. Uh, that way I almost fell over. I like kind of compensated back the other way. Didn't, didn't fall off. So was happy about that. And then now I just, and this is funny because I don't normally do this. Normally I either crawl over logs, um, and that could include like, you know, sitting my butt on it and swinging my legs over or swinging a leg over and then kind of like throwing myself over or whatever or sometimes I'll like um well yeah I guess that's the main way and then going under and this time I decided it was like just big enough that like I could step onto it um it was like a bit of a stretch but doable and so I stepped on it and then was about to step down and when I went to step down it didn't really have much bark on it and my left foot just slipped I like fell uh onto and thankfully my feet just like kind of caught me on the ground like on the ground and my butt kind of just sat down on the log essentially but it wasn't like I was sitting down it's like I kind of fell into that position anyway three times in like an hour what is going on How was it? I lost my balance one time. It was a little stressful, but it's okay. Henry is using this log to do something to help with the river crossing. I'm not sure what exactly. Nice bridge, but no water. All right, well, here's our bridge situation. It has been called in far out a folding bridge. Uh, it appears to be a broken bridge. Okay, looking at it now, it doesn't look so bad. It almost looks like it was made that way. I think it was made that way. I'm excited. But do you think it was made that way or you think it's actually broken? Uh, 
Like, I think it, it broke. Oh, I do think it broke, but I feel like they've sort of, they've shored it up a bit. It looks stable. Thoughts? Given the splintered wood, I think it broke. Yeah, okay. It seems fine, though. Well, it's actually great, because you just enter, enter there and go up. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm going to let you go ahead. Oh, you're, oh, you're entering there. Oh, wait, can I go up here? Oh, yeah, maybe not. Okay, now I see that it's actually broken down there. Hmm. All right, well, here we go. Y'all, I was just folding my pants and I haven't looked at how gnarly they are in a while. This is all just like, some of this is active sap, but a lot of it's just like stains from sap. It's just like, this is the whole butt of my pants. Oh my gosh. They also got a hole in them somewhere down here. Well, Active Sap would be a good yeah. name for a band. Active Sap. <laughs> yeah. These are just some little holes. But I... It was really silly. I should have ordered multiple of these pairs of pants. And I didn't. And so, if something happens to these, I don't know what I'm going to do. I love them.